Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day. I'm really excited and a little nervous for this video because I am kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. Do a really bold Valentine's Day look, which I don't do bold, bold looks. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a Valentine's inspired bold, B-O-L-D look for you guys. So that means I might be putting on neon eyeshadow. I might be putting on I don't even know what we're going to do here. So we're just going to get into the video and see what becomes of it. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Now let's get into the video. So I am going to start with the eyes first like I normally do, but because we are going for mold, more bold eye choice today, I'm gonna have to do my eyes first because we don't know where this is gonna go. I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'm going to just prep the eyelids. Right, so I don't have a specific eyeshadow palette that has like bold colors. So I'm just gonna have to like mix between palettes. I'll let you know what I'm using. Right, so I think I'm gonna start in the Disney Masquerade palette and I'm gonna use Enchanted for my transition shade. Okay, this hand mirror comes in so much more handy than you think guys i didn't think that i was going to need one i thought oh i'll be just fine with like my mirror in front of me and like maybe a mirror from a compact but this mirror just makes the biggest difference in the world Woo! that is intense i usually like knock off a lot of the product off of the brush but i'm i'm just gonna try to keep it all on the brush If you are one of those people that really likes bold looks, comment down below and let me know. I'm loving this look so far. I mean, maybe just throw on some mascara and be done, right? <laughs> I think now what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to take my Tati Beauty palette and I'm going to go into Poet right here. I'm just going to apply this to the outer crease. And then as I lose product, I'm going to bring it up and blend it into that other shade. So we want everything super blended, but we also want that those punch of colors as well. This is, this is fun, guys. This is really fun. <clears throat> I'm not sure where I'm going with this look, but this is it's fun. So I'm gonna go into my Milani Pure Passion palette. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Spice It Up Outer Edge, kind of like on my lower lash line, blend it in there. Okay, nope, not that color. Disney Midnight Masquerade. And I think I'm going to go into Gaston, which is like a purpley red shade. Applying it to the lash line, just on the outer corner there. I don't want to go too far in with it, but just kind of bringing all those shades together, kind of creating a V shape, bring that up to the crease. Blending is the key, like just blend, blend, like blend your life away. <laughs> the more blended it looks, the better it looks. This is actually looking really good. Like, obviously, like I wouldn't wear a look like this every single day, but it's fun. It's fun to play, you know. Let's see, I'm gonna dip into the shade in the Top Two Beauty palette, the um, glitter shade in Poet. Press this onto my eyelid. Woo! That's pretty. Okay. Just really pack that on. It's just called Aurora, which. I've already hit pan on it. It's such a pretty shade. I'm going to apply this just like in the inner corner, right there. Not in the inner inner corner, but like right at the beginning of my eye. I'm gonna quickly get some makeup wipes and clean out the fallout and then we'll move to the face. All right, so I'm going to quickly pull my hair back. This is my Maybelline Superstay. This is a buildable foundation. It's full, it's already full coverage, but I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more. I'm gonna start off using the NYX Angel Veil Perfecting Primer. Okay. 
Okay, so for concealer day, this is actually a new product um, that I've wanted to test out for a while, but I just haven't found the right time to try it out. So this is from e.l.f. This is their hydrating camo concealer. So you guys know that I use the hydr uh, not the hydrating, the camo concealer um, for prepping my eyelids. This is like a matte formula, um, whereas this is hydrating. So it's going to be hydrating under the eyes. It's not going to be as drying under the eyes um, with the other one. So I wanted to test this out to see. Um, the shade I have is Fair Warm. They're pretty identical. They might be a little bit off. Um, this one in the nor original formula is medium peach. So the coloration in the two different lines are a little bit off. Apply this to the under eyes and we're going to see this. Seeing the difference in the formulas, um, I feel like on an everyday basis, though, I wouldn't use as much as I'm using, but we are kind of going a little bit out of my comfort zone today. So we're going to build that concealer up. I really am liking the finish of that concealer. Now we'll just have to see how it like wears, but I'm going to kind of highlight the T-zone a little bit. I haven't been doing that as much lately, so we're going to do that today. I'm going to go and I'm actually going to cream contour. I've been kind of doing this a little bit more lately. I am going to take my contour stick. This is from Physicians Formula. This is their sculpting bronze. I am going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I am going to take my Blendiful because this is just like the only tool I ever use now for applying powder. I'm going to take some powder bronzer. I'm going to use the Maybelline City Bronzer with a kind of tapered brush. I'm going to move on to blush and I'm trying to decide what I want to do for blush. I'm kind of thinking this blush because I think it will match kind of that peaches undertone that I have on my eyes. And lately I have been loving applying my blush with my fan brush. So that's how we're going to do it today. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't think that's the right color. I feel like that's just a little too bright and I need something that's a little bit darker. So I'm going to take just a powder brush and it has nothing on it. And I'm just going to kind of soften the edges of that. And to this one, this is a little bit more of a mauve shade. This is from Essence and is the Satin Love. I don't know. I'm starting to look like a cloud. I thought the eyes were going to be the tricky part of this, but it's the cheeks. I'm having a hard time with the cheeks area. Uh, okay. Maybe I just thought about this a little bit too harder than I thought I needed to. So I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of brush over that. I'm going to take my Blendiful and the side that I used the powder and just kind of pat down the edges. Oh man. <laughs> I hope this doesn't look as bad in camera like it does <laughs> In person. We're going to move on to the eyes. We're going to come back to the cheeks um, later because <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm just making it worse as of now. So the eyes, the first palette that we used for the look was that Disney and ColourPop Masquerade palette. So I'm going to go back into that palette more of Enchanted. The first shade that we used, that peachy pink shade. I am going to dust that off and I'm going to kind of, because we with the concealer, it kind of ruined the inner corner over here. So I'm going to kind of just kind of build that back up. I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to go across the lower lash line. I think 
the shade that we used next was the one from the Tati Beauty Palette, Matte Poet. Oops, I'm just making a messes. I'm just going to keep that on the outer third, maybe. I might bring it in a little bit more, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm bringing it more into the into two thirds of the lower lash line. We're just going to kind of drag as we blend it, as we lose product, we're going to kind of drag that down. I'm going to go into eyeliner I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Liner. In with some mascara. I'm using my favorite, the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I am going to be applying just like one coat because I am going to go in with falsies. I'm going to put the, some mascara on my bottom lashes already because... I have found that it's kind of hard for me to do this once I have false lashes on. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my lower lash mascara first. And I'm going to build like maybe two coats on the bottom. So for false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Kiss 03 lashes. These are just really natural lashes. These are the only ones that I have with me. Otherwise, I would probably use a more <coughs> dramatic pair. I don't feel like fussing with magnetic lashes today. Those ones are a little bit more, I would say, but I don't have the time to deal with them. I'm using the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencils. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. and Nabella Noir highlight. This is such a pretty highlight, but it's super intense. Oh yeah, okay, that was a lot. <laughs> and just kind of blend that in. I'm gonna contour down the sides, center, sides of the nose first. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? It's just gonna be me and my husband and our little baby boy. So we're just gonna kind of be staying at home, maybe, I don't know, maybe we might go out and do something fun, but it's just gonna be us. I'm gonna do something really fun for breakfast. And then for dinner, I have a whole bunch of dipped chocolate fruit which i did um on my instagram so if you want to go over and check that out they, it was so fun to make and they are amazing i did strawberries bananas apples and mandarin oranges oh they're gonna be so delicious and then my husband he's making um from scratch fettuccine noodles and we're making chicken alfredo and it's just gonna be so delicious okay I got my highlight on, got my contour on my nose. I need to do something about this blush. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to go into this one right here from Milani. This is Dolce Pink. That's helping. It's just like really creating a shape on my cheek so that I'm not particular happy about creating this. I'm going to take my sponge and kind of pat that out a little bit kind of blend it I don't really know what I'm gonna do for lips let's see what do I have for lips okay <clears throat> so I have this pretty bright shade from L'Oreal we're gonna go ahead and use this shade and I am gonna go into a lip liner really quick this is from wet and wild this is in gone burgundy now we're gonna go into lip color that lip liner is a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be but it'll be fine I'm gonna set the face I'm gonna set a little bit of a clear gloss. This is from Thrives. This is in the shade called Ashley. And I'm just gonna kind of press this on the center of the lips. All right, guys, there is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really like it. I never go this bold. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Valentine's Day and comment down below and let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. If you end up um, wanting to try to recreate this video and try to be a little bit more bolder with your makeup, post on Instagram and tag me so that I can see your guys' look that you guys create because sometimes it's just fun to sit down and kind of get out of your comfort zone and play with the makeup that you have. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.